So to simplify it, you have stack, static, and heap memory. The static memory is pretty much for the globals and static variables to just keep them in a certain memory chunk and access it anytime you want. The stack memory, on the other hand, is just a linear memory that's lasting first out, so you can place things on top of each other and then just remove them from the top. The thing is, stack memory is limited for each thread just to keep uh, for the hardware, like the function pointers to know where you are in your program to later when you return, go back to exact functions that you need. And also to deallocate whatever variables you allocated in a certain stack function scope. So here, for example, I have an overflow please function that will pretty much overflow my stack. I'm using right now Windows and Windows has like a few kilobytes or whatever by default of the stack memory for each thread. I'm running just a simple main thread. And when I do that and I run my program, you can see that I have a stack overflow. Well, uh, not an, enough memory on my stack to actually uh, run this function with recursion. Uh, Forty million times, which is a lot for that. And well, when we have a stack overflow, we will most of the time get a random crash in some whatever place. In my case, it was there. Uh, also, sometimes a program can optimize our function, so this function can, even with an even bigger number, not crash uh, if you test it, because it will depend uh, whether or not your compiler optimized it, what happened exactly, so on and so forth. Here, as you can see, I also have a heap variable. So we know that, okay, we have limited stack for each thread just to uh, know where we are in our program to later just return. And it's limited and it's pretty much fast to put stuff on it because since we know where is the top of our stack, we can just put anything that we want on top of that. And well, that's it. And each thread has just an allocated memory chunk in our RAM. But uh, when we have our static memory and we have our stack memory, we also have the heap memory. And heap memory is pretty much whatever we have free in our random access memory. So pretty much the rest of our RAM. Here you can see that I have my int pointer heap variable equals new int 10. And what it does is pretty much allocating uh, amount of bytes equal to the size of int times 10, because I'm allocating 10 ints. In this case, int uh, for me has a size of four bytes, so I'm allocating 40 bytes. And the new is returning me a pointer to the allocated memory. It's contiguous, so I have uh, 40 bytes uh, near each other. And this pointer will just point to the first int, and later I can access whatever int from this that I want. Uh, I'm using a pointer heap var because I need to actually somewhat keep the track of where it is in my memory. And the pointer, which is just an address, will tell me where it is. So that's pretty much it. And the whole thing is it's slower than stack in a way that the new operator has to actually run a certain algorithm to actually deduce, hmm, does the space between this allocated block and this allocated block is big enough for me to fit the bytes that I want to allocate? Because keep keep in mind that it's most of the times not allocating just 40 bytes, but huge objects, arrays of objects, or even whatever the fuck we want. And it's sometimes huge. So we need to keep in track with that. And many algorithms have to run through to actually check, OK, uh, this graph tells me that, hey, there's a free memory, there's a free memory, there's a free memory. Uh, which one should I use? Uh, where can we allocate the uh, memory? And later just return a pointer. Also, it can fail because we cannot allocate the uh, memory for our like whatever usage that we want to have. And it will return as a null pointer, which is just a pretty much not allocated memory. And that's pretty much it for the heap and stack. Later, we can optimize it doing some memory pools or whatever, but that's pretty much it for the basics. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one. Bye.